Mr. Farmer, what you gonna use? What you gonna use when you're down on the farm? How do you do what you do? Do what you do, what you do, what you do when you're growing them veggies down on the farm. Did you ever see a tractor? Did you ever see a tractor pull? Pulling on a plow way down on the farm. And did you ever see a forklift? Did you ever see a forklift lift? What does a forklift lift down on the farm? And hey, Mr. Farmer, what you gonna use? What you gonna use when you're down on the farm? How do you do what you do? Do what you do, what you do, what you do when you're growing them veggies down on the farm. Did you ever see a seed drill? Did you ever see a seed drill drill? What does a seed drill drill way down on the farm? Did you ever see a cotton picker? Did you ever see a cotton picker pick? What does a cotton picker pick way down on the farm? And hey, Mr. Farmer, what you gonna use? What you gonna use when you're down on the farm? How do you do what you do? Do what you do, what you do, what you do when you're growing them veggies down on the farm. Way down on the farm. I'm going down on the farm. Way down on the farm. Thank you to the store. You're on. Down on the farm. Way down on the farm. Ty! I'm so hungry I could eat for a week. I'm so hungry I could eat for a month. A year. Ten years. This all looks so good. Yeah, it does. Hmm. Apples or oranges, Jennifer? Red or green apples? Orange or orange oranges? Oh, sorry, uh, genies just aren't really good jugglers. Are you a genie? Thomas, it's him. I don't believe it. This is great. It's him. Jennifer, who is him? I I'm him. I'm Hard Hat Harry. You know, I told you. Hard Hat Harry, the genie who showed me all the traps. Good to see you again, Jennifer. You too. This is my brother. You mean he's for real? Of course. Oh. Whoa, whoa, take it easy there. It's not every day that kids meet a genie. And not every day that you meet one twice. I'll fix that. Nice to meet you, Hard Hat Harry. I'm Thomas. I'm older than Jennifer. As if he cares. So, Hard Hat Harry, what are you doing here? Were you hungry? Well, I'm always hungry. Just like him. <sighs> and you know what amazes me whenever I see a luscious, beautiful piece of fruit? What? What amazes me is how easy it is to pick up a piece of food and eat it, compared to how much work actually goes into growing a piece of fruit. And I don't just mean people work. I mean all the work done by different types of farm equipment. Um, well, if corn had ears, <laughs> and of course they do, and potatoes have eyes, oh, and of course they do, they can see and hear everything that happens on a farm, and how much work is done by all the different types of farm equipment. Well, why don't we take a look through the eyes of this potato? First and foremost is the tractor, with or without the plow, the furrow press, or the power harrow, then of course the seed drill, there's the manure spreader, the versatile combine, the mower, the harvesters, and- Hey, hey, hard hat Harry, slow down! Oh, sorry, sometimes I just get a little excited. That's okay. Besides, my brother isn't supposed to say, hey. My grandma says, hey is for horses, better for cows. She's right. Well. Why don't we go take a look? Yeah! Yeah! But can we? Of course we can. He's a genie. Well, here we go. Hey! 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 Hey, do you guys want to see the rest of the farm? You betcha. Aren't you forgetting to, you know, get us into some farm class? Say no more. Cool! Cool! So you guys, hold on to your hats. See you later, Daisy Mae. Strawberry! Yeah, 
Yeah, but farming isn't as easy as a bowl of strawberries. Mmm, yum, you want one? Thanks! Ah, not bad for a genie. But the real magic starts here. With this. Dirt? Well, yeah, but it's actually called soil in farmer talk. Here we are at the very beginning. In the dirt? Soil. Right. Soil. The land. And first the farmer prepares, or in farmer talk, tills the land. And he does that with one of the most important machines on the farm, the tractor. Can you show us how it works? Sure, but farm equipment is big and powerful. It must be respected and treated with care. Look at those huge tires! The back tires are so big to roll smoothly over the bumps and not get stuck in the mud. And the front tires are small for steering. The back of the tractor has a hitch to pull other types of farm equipment, like the plow over there. The plow has powerful and sharp blades that turn over the soil, getting rid of weeds and leftover crops. The soil is turned, and then the tractor hitches up a power harrow. A what? A power harrow. It chops up the lumps in the soil. But when do they finally plant? When the soil is just right. Yay! The farmer hooks the tractor up to the seed drill. Inside are several drills which make furrows in the soil. The seeds are stored up top in the hopper, and a stream of air blows them down tubes, and the seeds are released below the ground into the furrows. What is in those side containers? Fertilizer, which is farm talk for plant food. Fertilizer is mixed in at the same time with the seeds. After the seeds and fertilizer are in place, several rods fill up the rest of the furrow with dirt. That seed drill is amazing! And those tractors must be very strong machines in order to pull all those other machines. That's right. For instance, this tractor weighs seven tons. That's heavier than three hippopotamuses. Where are we now? Africa! Whoa! Hold on to your hats. Ah, back on the farm. But it's always fun on an adventure to take a little side trip to illustrate a point. Now, let's see, where was I? Africa. Yeah, yeah, but besides Africa. The tractor and how strong and heavy it is. All ah, right. Do you know how much this plow weighs? A plow can weigh two tons. That's more than two large grizzly bears. Africa? Ah, the Africa. Yosemite. We'd better get back to the farm. Bears? Hippos? What's next? Oh, I hope I haven't misled you. You don't measure a tractor by bears or hippos. You measure the power of a tractor by the amount of horsepower. Horsepower? I've heard of that. Good. Mm, for example, this tractor has a 125 horsepower engine. I guess it could do the work of 125 horses. <laughs> Don't be silly. Silly? <laughs> Look behind you. Uh, aren't they getting pretty close? Run, kids! But never fear, Hard Hat Harry is here! Oh, I love this farm. It has so much tradition. But hundreds of years ago, farmers didn't have machinery. They only used themselves and horses to do all the work. And boy, oh boy, it took a lot longer and it was a lot harder. Well, why don't we go back in time and take a look? Farmers like these cleared the land with spades and with horse-drawn plows. Then the farmer, wearing an apron or carrying a box full of seeds, spread the seeds. In farmer talk, we say that farmers broadcast the seeds. Broadcast? Like in... Television? Same word, but this is long before television was invented. What are they doing now? They're harvesting the grain with scythes. All this work was done by hand. The farmer walked for hours under the hot sun. It was hot, tiring, hard work. In the old, old days, it took three men to harvest two acres of grain in one day. 
Nowadays, one man and one machine can harvest over a hundred acres in one day. And he can keep cool and comfortable in a tractor with air conditioning, two-way radio for communication with other workers on the farm, glass windows, and my favorite, a cassette player. Hey, Mr. Farmer, what you gonna use? What you gonna use when you're down on the farm? How do you do what you do? Do what you do, what you do, what you do when you're growing the veggies down on the farm. Ever see a tractor? Did you ever see a tractor pull? Pull it on a plow way down on the farm. Hey, Mr. Farmer, what you gonna use? What you gonna use when you're down on the farm? How do you do what you do? Do what you do, what you do, what you do when you're growing the veggies down on the farm. <laughs> Are there any morning machines? Oh, there are all kinds of machines. Get a load of this. Here comes the manure spreader. Ah, manure. Manure feeds the soil and helps to get these seeds and plants growing. Inside the bin of the manure spreader, chains move about quickly and keep the muck moving. Yuck! Yuck? It's muck! Well, that's what they call it in farmer talk. And I bet those farmers are really glad they have a machine for it. Hey, look over there! There's a cultivator! Cultivators loosen up the soil and dig up weeds. And a cultivator is designed just right to not dig up the rows of plants. These weeds just have to go because weeds use up water and nutrients. Ah, look at this corn grow! Feast your eyes on that! This cornfield goes on forever! You know, all this talk of food and... Ooh, you're right! And I'm hungry! I'm hungry. You two are always hungry. Well, what do we have to eat? Bread. Oh, wheat. Bread is made from wheat. Oh, how could I have forgotten? Oh, and wheat machines are the best, like the combine. Is a combine called a combine because it combines many different types of machines into one? Exactly. It combines the cutting of the crop with the separating and gathering of the grain, and then the grain is safely put into the tank. Well, why don't we go take a look? To, to the, the combine! combine. Okie dokie, artichoke. A combine doesn't need a tractor to pull it. It is its own machine. Here in front, the cutter bar has very sharp blades, and it cuts the plant stalks, or the straw of the wheat. Then the crop is shaken in the threshing cylinder, and the straw falls away. The grain ends up in the storage tank. It's a pretty big tank. You're right. This tank can store over 12,000 pounds of grain. That's enough wheat to make over 7,000 loaves of bread. That's a lot of bread. What's that long pipe? It's an unloading auger. It's used to unload the grain to a truck or a grain cart. Hmm. Hey, how do we get all the way up here? Hey, hey, hey. Genie magic. Now, did you guys know when hay is grown, it isn't dry? Is it wet? Exactly. Hay, or in farm talk, animal food is known as forage. And there is a special place for forage. Like, mm, right over there. First, the forage mower cuts the wet grass. It's like having eight lawnmowers all go out at once. Then the rollers squish the wet grass and squeeze out the water. Then piles of the grass are left out to dry in the sun. I thought we were talking about hay, not grass. Well, after the grass is cut and dry, in farmer talk, it's known as hay. Hay! And here comes a hay rake. What is it doing? It's flipping over the hay to help it dry. Then the baler, that huge machine, sweeps up the loose hay. Inside the bale chamber, rollers spin around and make the hay into bales. Some balers make huge round bales like this one that weigh over 600 pounds. Other balers make square bales, like the ones we're sitting on. A cow's favorite. Wow! Holy cow! I think this cow is hungry. Mm, pig out. It's not a 
pig? No, it's a dairy cow. And this cow knows all sorts of machines. Look. This is a milking parlor. The operator stands in the middle and cows are brought in and they take their places. The attendant quickly attaches the automatic milking machines and there you have it. The milk goes directly from the cow through a sanitary pipeline to the large stainless steel holding tank. So they don't milk them by hand? Oh, only on really small farms. U.S. dairy farmers produce over $5 billion worth of milk every year thanks to milking machines. Now half of that goes to drinking milk, and the other half goes into making cheese, and yogurt, and butter, and ice cream, and moo. <laughs> okay, now here's a clue for the name of another type of farm equipment. I know, I know, the fort lift. Yay, yes. You see, when farmers have lots of cows, there's lots and lots of hay, and sometimes those bales can be really heavy, so a forklift helps the farmer to lift it. There's one over there! Exactly. You know, a forklift can move things pretty high up, but this farm loader can move things up to 13 feet off the ground. Hmm. 13 feet? That's taller than a giraffe! <gasps> wow! Are you guys ready to see some more equipment? Sure! Well, we'll keep on moving then, because moving is what these machines do too. Farmers have equipment to move all sorts of things, like the farm grader, and a specially designed trailer to move grain. And of course, trailers to move horses. Oh, these are very clever. The door opens just like the front door of your house. The horse steps up and climbs on in. Oh, and here is an all-terrain vehicle that can move things around over rocky roads and even move snow. And of course, a variety of multi-purpose trucks. Ah, oh, cool, look at this truck. Oranges! Maybe I could... A uh, hard hat Harry. Do the genie juggle. Uh-oh. Howdy. Oh, Farmer Annie. Good to see you. These are my friends, Thomas and Jennifer. We're brother and sister. I'm older. I'm younger. Well, they're crazy about all the different types of farm equipment. Farmer Annie, when do you do your planting? Well, with most crops, we plant in the spring and we harvest in the fall. Oh, so you have the whole winter time for vacation. <laughs> oh, no. Sometimes we double crop, which means we plant again after we harvest. And if we're not planting and harvesting, we're servicing and repairing our equipment. Where? In the farm equipment yard. Well, let's go check it out. See you later, Farmer Annie. Bye. These strong machines work so hard under so many conditions of heat, rain, and even snow that it takes a lot of time and care to keep these machines in good, running, and safe condition. Every year, these machines are serviced and cleaned and kept up. Oh, there you guys are! What a busy farmer you are! You can say that again. What a busy farmer you are! <laughs> <laughs> well, Farmer Annie, at least you don't have to work at night. When the sun goes down. That old notion about farmers working from sun up to sundown just isn't true anymore. No, not with these modern machines. Oh, uh, with a little genie magic, I can make it night. Nowadays, all sorts of machines have large lights that allow the farmer to work at night. The tractor, the combine, and all of these other machines light up the field so the farmer can keep working through the night. Well, just in case a storm is on the horizon and the crops have to be harvested before they're ruined, or some other reason, that makes farming at night an absolute necessity. Oh, you guys just keep popping up all over the place. You farmers sure work hard. But isn't it easier because of all the farm equipment? Oh, farming isn't easy. There's just less people to do it. Seventy years ago, one out of every three people were farmers in this country. Now, only two out of a hundred are farmers. Today, fewer people grow more food than ever before, and they grow enough food for the entire country and more. And they do it thanks to good farming, good farming equipment, and good farmers. Aw, oh, thanks. 
Mm. Thanks. Mm. Thanks. Mm. Enjoy. Make yourselves at home. And I'll see you later. Bye, Farmer Annie. Bye. Mmm. Mmm. Tasty carrot. Here's a carrot picking question. Do you think a carrot machine picks up a carrot by picking it up and cutting off the top, or does it cut off the top and then scoop up the carrot? I say pick the carrot and then cut off the top. I say the other way. Cut the top and then pick the carrot. Well, why don't we go to a carrot farm and find out? Oh. Here's your carrot picker. Carrots are plowed loose from the soil and lifted by belts. The tops are removed, and the carrots are then carried by conveyor belt and dropped into a truck. Sometimes there are two different types of machines invented by different people to do the same job. And speaking of two types of pickers, let's go down south. Africa? Alabama. Here's a spindle-type cotton picker. The leaves of the plant have been removed two weeks earlier with a chemical spray. So now, the spindle-type picker goes up and down the rows of plants, picking only the open, mature bowls of cotton. As more cotton bowls open, the machine goes back to pick a second time. What other way is there to pick cotton? Well, so hang on. Here in Texas, and also in Oklahoma, cotton is harvested with a machine called a stripper. It works faster than pickers, and you don't need to use the chemical spray. You see how the machine strips the plant of all of its growth in one fell swoop? Taking not only the open cotton bowls, but the closed cotton bowls and the leaves and the stems. Later, that is separated and thrown out. That is why, in Farmer Talk, we call it trash. The cotton fibers are separated out with a cotton gin, right? Right. We learned about that in school. It was patented by Eli Witt in 1794. Precisely. Whew. Jet lag, anyone? No! Oh, no way! Good, good, good. Now, about these oranges. How many types of machines can pick an orange? Two? Three? None! Right now, the only orange picker is the farmer, and he does it by hand. Really? Really. Hang on to your overalls. Ah, oranges galore! I don't see any oranges. Oh, sure there are. Look up really close. They're little baby ones, and they're still green. Oranges are full of vitamin C and hesperidin. Hesperidin? Yeah, it's like a vitamin, and it's found in the white part of the oranges between the sections. Cool. Yeah, vitamin C and... Hesperidin. Keep you healthy and prevent diseases. And oranges taste good. Now, citrus trees have been around for... 20 million years. How old is that tree? Well, this tree is about 20 years old, but some trees in Florida are over 100 years old. That's old. Yeah. Orange trees were very much treasured by kings and queens in Europe. King Louis XIV of France housed the most famous orange tree of all called the Constable. It was 473 years old. People used to like the smell of orange blossoms. Hmm. Hmm. So now, can you tell me about how many oranges a tree can bear at one time? Thirty? A hundred? Mm-mm. The average orange tree bears over 1,500 oranges at one time. Wow! But some orange trees can bear over 10,000 oranges at one time. Big business for California and Florida because Americans consume over one billion oranges a year. And all the growing is done by hand? No farm equipment? Never fear, the picking is done by hand, but the growing in large orange groves is done by machines. Well, come on. This machine is called a topper. A topper prunes the trees in order to help them grow stronger and produce bigger and better fruit. This also gives the farmer easier access for picking the fruit. Then, the shredder comes through, cleaning up the fallen branches and weeds in between the rows of trees. Oh, here's a piece of farm equipment that can save the life of an orange, the smudge pot. Think of it as a heater, because if trees get cold and there's a late night frost, an entire year's crop of oranges can be lost in one night. So that's where this 
piece of farm equipment comes in handy and saves the day. Yay, the smudge pot. Oh, oh. What is it? Oh. What's wrong, Hard Hat Harry? Oh, I forgot about the nuts. What is it? The nuts, the nuts. I forgot about the nuts and we're running out of time. We better go. Is this a nut farm? Sure is. And nut farmers use farm equipment to harvest their crops of nuts, like pecans or almonds. This machine is called a tree shaker, and it does exactly what its name implies. It shakes the tree, so the ripe nuts will fall to the ground. Notice that the farmer sits inside the machine so that nuts can't clunk him on the head. Ouch! Once the nuts are on the ground, the machine sweeps up the nuts so they can be hauled away. Now that's a nutty machine. Oh, nuts, it's really getting late. I better be off. Uh, our clothes. Oh, right. Well, now, maybe I should try that juggling thing one more time. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Well, maybe I should uh, try a little magical genie spell. Hocus, pocus, juggle, and focus. You did it! Congratulations! Orangemo! Bye! Wow! We better get going. Yeah, I'm hungry. You know, I don't always think of Hard Hat Harry whenever I eat an orange. And I'll always think of all the farm equipment that goes into growing all this food. Yeah! The tree shaker, the cultivator, the seed drill, the combine, the forklift, the tractor. Hey, Mr. Farmer, what you gonna use? What you gonna use when you're down on the farm? How do you do what you do? Do what you do, what you do, what you do when you're growing them veggies down on the farm. Did you ever see a tractor? Did you ever see a tractor pull? Pulling on a plow way down on the farm And did you ever see a forklift? Did you ever see a forklift lift? What does a forklift lift down on the farm? And hey, Mr. Farmer, what you gonna use? What you gonna use when you're down on the farm? How do you do what you do? Do what you do, what you do, what you do When you're growing them veggies down on the farm did you ever see a seed drill? Did you ever see a seed drill drill? What does a seed drill drill way down on the farm? Did you ever see a cotton picker? Did you ever see a cotton picker pick? What does a cotton picker pick way down on the farm? And hey, Mr. Farmer, what you gonna use? What you gonna use when you're down on the farm? How do you do what you do? Do what you do, what you do, what you do when you're growing them veggies down on the farm. Way down on the farm, going down on the farm. Way down on the farm. Thank you. 